question. I think I'm dead. Okay, how about you? Did, will you dare to put your face on YouTube to sell your product? How about the uh, guy in the back? Will you dare to put a YouTube video on yourself? Uh, no problem, but just I haven't tried before. <laughs> <laughs> How about Casey? Yes, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in our Asian culture, most of us is shy of putting our face off the internet because we have an ego in us. Many of you are considered accomplished speaker and you know the way of being a public speaker. But have you tried to speak on video? Do you know there's always a pitfall? Pitfall means you make mistake again. The mistake you made today, 10 years, I mean 5 years when you join this, the, the day you join this club, say that day 5 years ago, you are so fearful to stand in front of the audience. But 5 years later, you have no fear. But what about online? When I set out this club for five weeks ago, close to five, I was so nervous. My fear because I came from Toastmaster, so I've been in Toastmaster since 2003. I have no fear speaking in front of audience. But when I go online to speak, my nervousness came back. The fear came up again, and after. Every meeting is just a recording. So we always review whether they will do it well, any area of improvement. So when I review that online, after the meeting, two days later, I realized that I am still nervous. I can do pronounce the word correctly. Mm -hmm. But some of my members who have attended the meeting, they get used to it after three or four meetings. They can continue to speak better. It's Back to what they are used to speak in a toastmaster, physical Toastmaster club. Why do I say that? Last Tuesday, I speak at my club, Toastmaster club, and I feel very confident and people feel that. <coughs> One year later, after I came back, I left Toastmaster for almost 15 years. I came back last year. So the first time they heard from me, and the, the reason that they heard from me, they realized that I, my voice is much more clear. And before. So, what is the pitfall of speaking of video? Your honor, Example, this is the video. Where do you stand? Should you stand here? Or should you stand here? Or stand here? Uh, Carol? Center. Yes. But people have a habit of standing at the side. Because they still got fear speaking of So communication actually starts for the day you are born. You make the first sound. But when you are speaking in front of people you don't know, you feel fearful. When I came here, I was fearful also. But I get comfortable when I am this meeting. Even I'm not speaking to anyone. Even when I do evaluation of schooling, I just triggered has triggered her as an Atos master, I give feedback. It's, it's different. The only thing I need to improve is my structure delivery. So this is the, why I, I came back to Toastmaster last year. <coughs> so if you are fearful, if, or, uh, if you are not fearful speaking in the in front of the audience, then you should try speaking online to see where you are, whether your idea can sell to the the world. This platform is not for you to speak, to sell to Singaporeans, but to sell your idea to the world. If you cannot, if you can sell your idea now to the audience to buy your product, you should take the next step to speak online to sell your product to the world. Because I've been recently active to the first three speakers, and I realized that 
they have no fear to confront here. I do not know if they have got fear speaking in the small screen. You may have recorded, uh, I guess you have, sometimes you have used a uh, YS video with your friends. Are you fearful? No. What if the audience is the worldwide? That's another step. You need to take one step. You want to sell product to the world, you should take the chance to practice how to communicate on video. Thank you, MC of the day. Uh, Willie Low gave a very good speech uh, for 5 minutes and 40 seconds. Great, thank you, my So, screening everything. Yeah, uh, yeah uh, uh, thanks, Willie, for his good presentations. Uh, I think the way he speaks, I really like the way he speaks, it's really slow and clear, which is something I need to learn. And then, um, um, I like the way he is giving asking questions yeah, from the initial uh, asking, asking questions and then comparisons. And then I didn't realize that actually when we're speaking to uh, to audience and speaking to online, it's actually so much difference. I never realized that. So that's made me think of uh, I, I should try it myself. Yeah. And then um, and then I like uh, the way he sings about his own um, experience, the way he how he improved, how he. Uh, uh, grow from there and then the comparison from 10 years, 5 years ago and then now. Yeah, and then uh, um, the last one would be like, um, um, I think uh, the ideas that is, uh, the one that I like, the way he sh shared is that sell the idea to the world, which is something very impressive. Yes. Yeah, I like that. Thank you for your sharing. Yeah, I think really um, engage the audience very well. And uh, we start by getting, uh, I think Carol and one, uh, another person to about what actually what he is trying to put across for the evening message uh, speech. Uh. He speak in uh, rather clear and is, uh, he doesn't rush through the, his uh, conversation. But I think the main thing is that uh, he should also have given an example, probably through the PowerPoint or through a video, uh, give an example like uh, if you before, what the, the fear like maybe after that, or give an example of himself. Uh, really, in a very good started the uh, twist in two very well by engaging the audience. Uh, but but I also has a look to ask other people. Good thing. We need to be very sure. So, Hoi Ling and Eugene gave a very uh, two, concise um, uh, evaluation. Hoi Ling gave evaluation for 48 seconds and Eugene gave evaluation for 40 seconds. Take the trial, download a video about before and after. Even after that was a very good suggestion. Mm. That was what was missing. Mm. And number three is how do you transfer from life life speaking here to that? What is the journey? What what do you need to do? Then give us an idea. Otherwise, we would not know. <coughs> and then you go on conference, right? It's, it's just a mention. So what are the steps you need? How you need to practice? What you need to prepare? Things like that. Then we have an idea and how it's done. Okay. On the whole, I think this is very new. Very new. That is, when you speak to Singapore, you sell something to Singapore or you sell to the world. It's no difference if it's on, it's on video. It's, you send to 100 people, 1 million people is the same because you are not there to feel the, the, you know, the audience. So there's no difference. This, this is what I felt. right? So the more important thing is for you to put the sample here. The video here that everybody will have all oh, this is the idea. And how to do it? This is the step one, two, three, four. Do it this way. Uh, on the whole, I think it's very new and uh, I think I wish you success in having this online. Yes. Yes. Okay.